football, I think, you know, jumbling around the lineup at halftime, I think woke some guys up and ignited the team. 6.25 to play, second half. Chris Perez, an open three. What you've seen so far early from Oladipo, right? He's going to attack the basket. He's been doing it all season, and, and he's right when he catches it, you can see he looks to the rim and see if he has an avenue. So the Hoosiers regain the lead. Driving inside is Perez, and somehow gets the shot off in to go. And Perez the rebound. But they're going to play him one-on-one, -on -one, it looks like. Alexander talked about the matchup between Peg and Zeller. Certainly one we'll be keeping our eye on here this evening. Here's Chris Perez driving the baseline. Gets around for Dell and lays it in. Hand and when these guys start getting in foul trouble, it uh, really thins things down for Stetson. Perez in transition, pull up. Since man to man, that's a Rick Bird philosophy playing man to man. Casey would like to play that way himself, and uh, they started out zone. Really diving on the floor for loose balls, trying to get it back. Good effort on court to part defensively, trying offensively, trying to get the ball back. Driving through, short shot is good for Chris Perez. He's got both pass. Took the easy way out. Ball almost knocked loose again. Or a very active. Powering to the basket is Chris Perez. He's got four. Footer short. And the rebound is to Stetson. And they look to run out. Perez splits him, scores, and is fouled. Finish it off. Under the basket and somehow... Peg drives on Young, spins in traffic, hands it to Perez, who lays it in. Pressure, but almost turned it over. The Gators couldn't find the handle. Short shot in the lane, won't go. Tipped in by Perez. Brett Comer will turn it over, but he'll also make unbelievable plays. Chris Perez. A lot of minutes for Diaz in this first half. Yes. They're in a good position now with, with 22, 13 seconds left on the shot clock and the hit ball in the hands of a guy that can score. After falling behind by 11, the Hatters a chance to climb a little closer here. They're down eight right now. Perez, that's a blocking foul. Flagrant one in the last flagrant one offender. Chase Feeler's back in the game. Inbounds comes to Perez. Bay. Bernard Thompson, rebound controlled by Perez. Eagles already have four steals in this game. Yeah, they do. And, 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 but they're following it up by taking some bad shots. Perez at the foul line. Yeah. 
Nine on the shot clock. Perez on the drive. And got the roll. Now made for Joel Nobbers. Both teams still being careless with the ball. Perez the lay-in. Brown finally breaks the drought by knocking down a three. Perez banks it in. Well, he's number nine in the entire nation in steals per game. Perez for three. Knocked it down. Shooters. Willie Green on the baseline to Perez who plays it in. Both teams from the map. I think we've just uh, zoned after the first pass. Perez inside. Yes. Point lead. Eagles in a 2-3 zone. Chris Perez. And he hits a three. Unbelievable. And then Perez. Yeah, very rarely does he even take many twos. And that's an excellent two by Christoph. Well, the defense is, the defense is excellent. I guess I better correct that. I think Christoph got him a three out of that situation. Perez. That's what he does best. Much improved basketball player. Perez banks it in. Uh, you cannot statement in that the conference is wide open with the exit no of question. Belmont out of the conference. They've won the championship last two years, five of the last seven, and it's wide open for any number of take care of the ball just a little bit better. Oh.